Hello guys, welcome to today, uh, this class. Now I am going to explain uh, last topic of uh, module uh, 4, uh, advanced linear algebra, singular value decomposition. This singular decomposition is a very much useful in electronics, electrical, telecommunication. Apart from that, it is very much useful in the uh, where actually computer science uh, in a, while doing image processing, digital image processing, they using singular value decomposition method. Uh, they are going to write the uh, program very easily after uh, uh, decompose into product of three matrices using singular value decomposition. Therefore, that is why they added this topic in where in a singular value decomposition in advanced linear algebra in open elective. Now, we are uh, now first I am going to explain why they name this, sing, uh, this method is singular value decomposition. Decomposition means this is our given matrix, we decompose means factorized into product of three matrices are U, delta and V transpose. That is why we are using the word decomposition and also what is the meaning of singular values. Now, the given matrix first we are going to take some maybe a, uh, that is not a square matrix. It may be a rectangular matrix means number of rows is not equal to number of uh, uh, number of columns. Now, in that case, first you find out A transpose into A value. You know how to find out. You take A transpose means convert row into column. We get A transpose multiplied with A, and then using this matrix, first you find out the eigenvalues. How to find out the eigenvalues is already explained in my previous video. Determinant of A transpose into A minus lambda i equal to 0. Order of the matrix i is identity matrix depending upon order of the matrix of A transpose into A. The question is arise why we are taking A transpose into A means I told number of rows is not equal to number of columns, maybe a rectangular matrix, maybe 2 cross 3. In this case, it is not possible to find out eigenvalues. That is why first you make it into square matrix. That is why what we are converted into A, I have to multiply A with A transpose, the immediately is converted into square matrix. That is why you are finding a eigenvalues based on this. A transpose into A minus lambda i must be equal to 0. From that you know that you how to find out the characteristic equation. Find, solving that uh, uh, a polynomial in terms of lambda, we get the eigenvalue say lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. Now, square root of you write it that uh, once we get all the eigenvalues, just imagine here we get a 3 eigenvalues. After we get a eigenvalues, arrange it in the decreasing order. Suppose for example, we get one eigenvalue is 1, another eigenvalue is 20, another eigenvalue is 3. Now, uh, write it in decreasing order means first you take lambda 1 is equal to 20 lambda 2 is equal to 3 and then you take lambda 3 is equal to 1. This is called decreasing order. Square root of the each of the value, square root of uh, lambda 1, square root of lambda 2, square root of lambda 3 is denoted by sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3. These sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3 are called singular values of A. Singular values, what is sigma 1, sigma 2 is nothing but square root of the uh, eigenvalues of the A transpose into A, that values are called singular values. We are decomposing the matrix A into A is equal to U into delta into V transpose with the help of sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3. That is why we consider, we are giving the name for this method singular value decomposition. Singular values are using the word especially in IEC and computer science uh, uh, branch, in the core branch. That is that is nothing but square root of the eigen values of not original matrix A transpose into A. The first step is what are the steps I have to follow to uh, decompose the given matrix into U sigma sorry delta and V transpose. That is, uh, that give rise immediately what is a decomposition of singular value decomposition uh, product of three matrices. Very first step is, first you find out A transpose into A. In the second step, find out the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvalues. Uh, See, now you first you find out the eigenvalues means A transpose into A minus lambda i equal to 0 use this method you find out the eigenvalues. Once you get the eigenvalues, you find out the corresponding eigenvector. 
based on this. For example, we get lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. We get that. Now, from that you find out the eigenvalues. Say, corresponding this eigenvalues is already explained how to find out. While doing problem, once again I am going to explain. Here I am explaining what are the steps I had to follow to decompose into A into U delta V transpose. First you find out A transpose into A and then using A transpose into A, find the eigenvalues means you convert into uh, characteristic equation, find out the eigenvalues. Once we get, just imagine that we get three eigenvalues, therefore we get corresponding eigenvectors are uh, x1, uh, x1 capital X1 capital X2 capital X3. Now I am going to take uh, these eigenvectors uh, values are nothing but capital V, but we are arranging these eigenvalues based on decreasing order. Means 21st and 3 first and then 3 second and 1 like that we are taking V1, V2 and V3. Apart from that we are finding lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. Lambda 1 is nothing but square root of the highest value of eigenvalue, lambda 2 is nothing but second uh, uh, square root of the second highest value like that. Now after that once you we get uh, uh, this value in the next step we are framing diagonal matrix. While framing a diagonal matrix, you know what is the meaning of diagonal. Except principal diagonal, the rest of the values are 0. Only we are picked the non-zero value say 4, 5. For example, here lambda sigma 1 is 4, sigma 2 is 5, sigma 3 is 0. In that case, only we are placing in the diagonal non-zero values. We are not considered 0 value, but here sigma 3 is 0, we are neglecting. Other than non zero, uh, other than zero value, we are framing a diagonal matrix based on non zero singular values. Non zero singular values here what are sigma 1, sigma 2. After you uh, prepare D, next move into delta. While preparing delta based on the uh, diagonal matrix, now you first you fix the diagonal matrix in the upper corner of the delta, upper corner of the delta. After that, we cannot leave it as itself. Order of the delta must be equal to order of the given matrix. For example, if, suppose you take 2 cross 3 is our order of the given matrix. Now here, 2 rows okay, but uh, how many columns? 3 columns. In the rest of the position, we are making, take it as 0. I to convert into order of delta must be equal to order of the given matrix. This must be take care. The next after that, in the next step, this is a first step, this is a finding, uh, uh, this is our uh, third step, this is my fourth step, this is my fifth step, next is sixth step. In the sixth step, we are finding unit vector say u1 is nothing but 1 by sigma 1 into a v1 and then u2 is nothing but 1 by sigma 2 into a v2 like that, u3. What is u3 is nothing but 1 by sigma 3 into a v3 etc. This is a way we are finding u1, u2, u3. After you finding u1, u3, u1, u1, u1 u2, u3, we are framing capital U. You have uh, delta, you have v, we are framing finally u. While writing u, see how many rows you have, two rows number of unit vectors, we treated u1, u2, u3 are nothing but unit vectors, number of unit vectors must be equal to number of rows of the given matrix. What is how many rows you have? Two rows. Therefore, I need only u1 and u2. Now, this is a way we are framing capital U. After you framing that, you verify it. You multiply u delta and v transpose definitely the give rise the given matrix. This way I have to decompose the given matrix. Now before going to take problem, again I am repeating the steps, you try to understand that. The first step is first you find out A transpose into A. Why we are finding? Because usually decomposing the matrix is not a square matrix. If you want to find out eigenvalues, you must be required square matrix. That is why you multiplied A transpose into A, automatically is converted into square matrix. With the help of A transpose into A, we are finding a eigenvalues and eigenvectors. What we get eigenvectors? Now, we are to framing V is V1, V2, V3. After you framing that, you take the 
square in the decreasing order of the eigen value square root of the decreasing order of the eigen values are nothing but singular values sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 then after that you frame d d is nothing but diagonal matrix whose principal diagonal values are non zero eigen values non zero what about that uh, uh, singular values what's the singular values here 4 and 5 i'm neglecting zero next you frame delta while framing a delta you fix the upper corner values for d what's the d here 4 0 0 5 but the condition is order of delta must be number what about order of the given matrix now after you fix the diagonal matrix rest of the position you make it zero and then you convert the order of the delta must be same as order of delta order of the given matrix afterwards you find out the unit vectors using the formula 1 by sigma 1 a e v 1 and a v 2 into sigma 1 by sigma 2 etc then you frame u number see u how many u1 u2 has to take number of uh, unit vectors must be equal to number of rows of the given matrix based on that you frame a capital u and then multiply these three we get automatically capital a this is uh, one of the thing uh, that is a very very important. Now, uh, while taking problem again uh, then easy to understand what are the procedure I have to follow to convert the given matrix into decompose into product of three uh, matrices using singular value decomposition. Okay, Let us start one problem based on that. Problem number one. find the singular value decomposition of capital A equals you write it in the form of column 4, 8, 11, 7, 14, minus 2. Now observe here number of rows is 2, number of columns is 3 is a rectangular matrix. What we are, what I told in the first step while doing singular value decomposition, what is the first step? First you find A transpose, what is A transpose? Row into column 4, 11, 14, 8, 7, minus 2. In the next step you multiply A transpose into A, you make it the given matrix into square matrix. 8 transpose is 4, 11, 14, 8, uh, 7, minus 2 and then A. What is A? 4, 8, 11, 7, 14, minus 2. Now we have to multiply row into column. Now we get 4, 4 is 16 plus 64. What we get actually? 80. And next you move to the second column, 44 plus uh, 56, what we get? Uh, 100. Next, 14 forza plus minus, plus into minus, 16. What we get is 40. This is actually 56 minus 16, what we get? 40. Move to the second row. 44 plus 56, uh, uh, what we get is 100. Okay. The next is 121 plus 49 what we get actually 170. The next is uh, 11 into 14 minus 14, we get 140. Next move to the last one, 14 into 4 minus 16, we get 40. You already calculate similar calculation here. And next 14 into 11 minus 14, we get 140. Next move to the last one, 14 into 14 minus into minus plus 4, we get 200. Okay. This is now automatically we get square matrix, it is a 3 cross 3. Yeah. Next we have to take determinant of A transpose into A minus I equal to 0. Now you know that what is I lambda, I lambda, yes. Lambda is, a, I is a identity matrix depends upon order of A transpose into A. Therefore, what is my I? It is a 3 cross 3 matrix, 1, 0, 0. 
0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, okay, multiplied by lambda and take the difference, what we get? 80 minus lambda, 140, 100, 170 minus lambda, 140, 40, 140 and then 200 minus lambda, you know that how to take the, this is a one matrix, this is another matrix, how to take the difference, just you take a difference between the position of the matrix, determinant of that equal to 0. Then you evaluate this uh, equation, yeah, after evaluate this equation, you know how to evaluate is already explained in the previous class in, in detail, plus minus. Then what we get actually 80 minus lambda, <coughs> 80 minus lambda of this value occur in first row, first column, delete that you take the rest of the value, take the cross multiplication, what we get 170 minus lambda into 200 minus lambda minus 140 whole square. Once you go upper arrow for this, I told very clearly minus sign. The middle one minus, minus 100 of, you neglect first row and second column, take the rest of the value, first call, second or third row, third row of the first column and third column. What we get? 100 into 200 minus lambda minus, once you go up, you have to take a minus sign, minus 40 into 140, yes plus the last value 40, everyone you know how to uh, evaluate determine for 3 class 3. First row, third column occur, this 40 in the position is first row, third column you neglect, you take the rest of the value, you take these values. What we get? 100 into 140 minus 40 into 170 minus lambda. Now you simplify that equal to 0. Simplify that, finally we get that equation is nothing but lambda cube minus 450 lambda square plus 32,400 uh, lambda equal to 0. This is an equation are expecting. I am not written in between that because it is a very simple steps because we are teaching for this for 6 semester students, then you know how to simplify. Just you multiply and simplify that. Finally, we are expecting cubic polynomial. Why? Because in A, A, A transpose into A, what is odd? 3 cross 3. I told in the previous uh, uh, talk, uh, number of uh, order of the uh, cube uh, polynomial is depending upon order of the matrix. This order is 3, therefore we are expecting cubic polynomial in terms of lambda. Suppose order is uh, 4 cross 4, you are expecting a polynomial degree 4. Therefore, evaluate this, finally we get the roots are lambda is equal to 360, lambda is equal to 90, lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda is equal to, lambda 3 is equal to 0. But keep in mind, you find out uh, what about that, uh, once you get the values of the eigenvalues and uh, eigenvalues, you arrange it in the form of decreasing order. After evaluate that we get lambda 0, 19, 360, but I write it in the decreasing order, 360, 90 and 0. Now, next try to find out the corresponding eigenvalue. I told in the previous uh, slide, well, how to find out A, A transpose A minus uh, lambda i, this is a matrix. Once you write this notation is determinant, instead of this uh, you are writing square bracket, is, that notation is matrix of matrix of x must be equal to matrix of 0. Then, now I am going to take for our reference is star. Now, I have to put lambda is 1 by 1, before going to put the value of lambda, First you write it this uh, in the matrix form, what is the matrix form is 80 minus lambda, okay, 100, 40, okay, 100, 170 minus lambda, 140, okay, fine, and next 40, 140 and also 
200 minus lambda. I will make it in the form of matrix. It is a 3 cross 3, therefore how many unknowns is a column matrix or column vector, how many unknowns are expecting 3, x1, x2, x3, okay. Must be equal to 0, 0 matrix can also be written as column vector like that. You take, take this as star, okay. In the next step, you take 1 by 1 eigenvalues, you find out the corresponding eigen vectors. Yeah, first one, put lambda is equal to 360. Yeah, first uh, largest eigenvalue, I am going to put it in where in star. Once you put uh, 1360 in this case, 80 minus 360, what we get? Minus 280 because 360 is higher than 80, 100. 40 and then 100, 170 minus 360 we get minus 190, 40, 40, uh, sorry, uh, one, uh, 140, yeah, 140, okay, and uh, 200 minus 360 is minus 160, okay, into x1, x2, x3 must be equal to 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, now we have to write it in the form of equation is already explained in the previous uh, talk. In spite of that, once you multiply this matrix in this, we get a column matrix. Two matrices are equal means corresponding co uh, components are equal to 80x1 plus 100x2 uh, plus 40x3 equal to 0. Next, 100x1 minus 190x2 plus 40x3 equal to 0. Next, the last equation based on this 4x1 plus 140x2 minus 160x3 equal to 0. Now, observe carefully here. Now, this is a one of uh, important thing you have to observe carefully. I told you choose any two uh, independent equation. You take last two equation B and C. From the last two equation, you find out x1, x2, x3. How to find out also? First, it is a first case I am going to explain. But you already know that we already solved in a diagonalization or non-diagonalization problem. Yes, x1 divided by now, x, yeah, based on these two equation or if you want to take first two equation also choice, but the thing is you must be choose two equation out of three equation choose uh, uh, out of three equation you choose two equation both the equations are independent means one equation cannot be expressed in terms of other equation that then we treated is an independent equation. What we are going to do here I am going to take first two equation or take last two I am going to take first two equation x1 occur in the first uh, column I am treating this as first column second column third column. The other than that 100 into 140, 100 into uh, 40 what we get actually uh, 140 minus, now you please uh, try to understand that this is a one of uh, important thing. Then we have to multiply this minus into my, you see we are taking minus once you go upper arrow. Then I have to substitute, the, if you want to do one thing before moving to the next step, yeah, if you want to do simplification, see observe here, uh, 0 is common here, 10, 100, 40, better I to neglect uh, 0, I think everyone you know because we get simple calculation, 0 is a common, therefore divided by 10, once you divide it by 10, what do we get 28, 10, 4. And similarly for the second equation divided by 10, this 0 is cancelled, this 0 is cancelled, this 0 is cancelled. Only remaining 10, 19 and uh, uh, what about 4. Now this then easy to evaluate the uh, problem, okay. Therefore, what we are go uh, going to do here, then you multiply with uh, this or you have to multiply by this what we get actually x1 divided by 10 into this what we get actually 40, okay. Uh, now minus of minus plus you multiply that uh, what we get 76, okay fine. And then minus x2 divided by minus x2 because middle one always minus sign minus x2 divided by 
this and this means 10 into uh, whatever that uh, 160 uh, now what we get actually you neglect this part and take uh, you neglect this part you take 28 into 4 now we get uh, 392 we get minus n because we are having minus sign then once you go upper arrow now we get minus a minus of 10 into 4 is 40 like that move to x3 in the x3 you take first two columns minus 28 into minus 19 what we get plus 532 minus 10 into 10 is 100. Now I have to simplify this. Yeah, you know how to simplify. Just add and subtract in the denominator the value what we get actually uh, x1 divided by 1 after the simplification x2 divided by 2 and x3 divided by 3. Simplify that and divide the common value and then uh, we get actually uh, x after I told already what is the common value you have based on the divide we get 2 and 2 this also we get uh, 2 this also we get 2. Now finally we get one of the eigen vector is 1, 2, 2. This simplification part I will leave because it is very simple. Just add the what we get this value based on the divide this, this and this value. The commonly I have to divide we get 1, 2 and 2. Now we get now here I have minus n but numerator also no minus n is cancelled we get plus. Therefore, what we get finally 1, 2, 2 after the simplification. What is my x1 is 1, 1, 1, 2, 2 is a 1 of the vector. Next move to the second the highest uh, value is 90. What is the second highest value is 90? Put lambda equal to 90. Where? In star. Star you know that. Then I to substitute in uh, value. What we get in the star? Actually, once you put 90, we get minus 10 and 100, 140 and then uh, we get 40 and also 100, 80, 80 and then uh, what is my, if you, you now I have to write what is my A transpose A uh, minus lambda I matrix this is very, very important. I am going to write it here. The 80. <coughs> A, uh, uh, 80 minus lambda, 100, 40, uh, 100, 170 minus lambda and then we get 140, this value is 40, 140 and then 200 minus lambda. Yeah, because of uh, shortage of uh, board, if, uh, I erase it, this is my a transpose A minus lambda I. Just you put uh, 90. What we get? Minus 10, 140. 170 minus 90, we get 80, 140. And also what we get? 40, 140. 200 minus 90 is 110. Yeah, 110 into x, x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. Again using same process, what I explain here? Write the system of equation, use the two independent equation, equations, finally we get x1 value, finally we get x1 by 2, x2 by 1 and x3 by minus 2. I return directly because I solved two or three problems in the previous video and also I explained how to find out the corresponding eigenvector. Just to write the system of equation like that take two independent equations, solve that finally we get x1 by 2, x2 by 1 and x3 by minus 2 means second eigen vector is 2, 1, minus 2. 2, 1, minus 2 is the second eigen vector. Similarly, take the third value lambda is equal to 0. Now, suppose I to put lambda is equal to 0 where in star that equation what we get actually matrix uh, 80, yeah, 80, same thing. Once you give a lambda is 0, we get A transpose into A itself, that is all. 100, 170, 140, uh, 40, 140 and 200 of x1, x2, x3, then 0. 0 can also be written as 0 vector column, column vector. Then we have to write system of equations, simplify that, finally we get x1 by 2, 
x2 by minus 2 and uh, x3 by 1. Therefore, what is another Eigen vector is 2 minus 2 and 1, 2 minus 2 and 1. These three are the Eigen vectors corresponding Eigen values. What is Eigen values? 360, 90 and 0 are taken in the decreasing order of the matrix. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, these two things I leave the uh, in between the part because it is already explained. Okay. Next, what are the uh, Eigen vectors you get? First, you verify that whether these Eigen vectors are orthogonal or not. Suppose it is not orthogonal, you know that using gram schmidt process to convert non-orthogonal vector to orthogonal vector. Now, I will write it once again what is by x1, just now we calculated. x1 is actually 1, 2, 2, yes and then what is x2 is 2, 1, minus 2 and then x3 is nothing but 2, minus 2 and 1. Just now we discussed these are the vector we calculated. Okay. Now, first verify whether is these vectors are orthogonal set of non-zero vectors in the product of x1, comma x2 or both are column vector that is what is the formula for inner product x transpose into x, x1 transpose into x2 means you are right, you write row uh, column vector into row vector 2, 1, minus 2. Once you multiply this what do we get actually 2 uh, plus 2 and then minus 4, 2 into 2 is 4 minus 4, we get 0 and also find out inner product of x1 with, with all the combination x3 means x1 transpose into x3, what is x1? 1, 2, 2 into x3, 2 minus 2 and 1, multiply it, what do we get? 2, 1 into 2 is 2. 2 into minus 2 is minus 4, 2 into 1 is 2, we get 0. Next, I to verify the another possibility in the product of x2 comma x3 is nothing but x2 uh, transpose into x3. What is x2 transpose? Uh, 2, 1, 2, minus 2, okay, into x3. What is x3? 2, minus 2, 1. Now, we have to simplify this, what we get? 4, yeah, 1 into 2 is minus 2, 2 minus 2 into 1 is minus 2, we get 0. Therefore, the set of vectors x1, comma x2, comma x3 is an orthogonal set of non-zero vectors, non-zero vectors set of orthogonal of uh, non-zero vectors. Once you verify these uh, vectors are orthogonal set of non-zero vectors, you know that that form a basis. But here, I want to know orthonormal basis vectors. Therefore, what, what we are going to do? We have to normalize. That is V1. V1 is nothing but normalized of orthogonal set of vectors. X1 divided by norm of X1 what is v2? x2 divided by norm of x2, v3 is nothing but x3 divided by norm of x3. Okay. In the next step, you calculate what is norm of x1. Norm of x1 is nothing but square root of square root of in a product of x1 comma x1. You know that that is nothing but square root of square sum of the square of the each of the values. 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square, what do we get? Root 9, what do, now we get 3, x1 value is 3. Next, I want to find out <coughs> what actually uh, norm of x2, what is norm of x2 is nothing but inner product of x2 comma x2 is nothing but square, sum of the square of the each of the components of x2, 2 square, 4, 1 square, 1 plus 2 minus 2 whole square is 4, 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9 is 3. Okay. The next we are calculating norm of x3 is nothing but square root of inner product of x3 comma x3 
is nothing but sum of the square of the each of the components of x3. Is 2 square minus 2 whole square plus 1, we get 9, we get 3. From that, what is v1? x1 you have divided by 3. 1 by uh, divided by norm x1 is 3. In all case, 3 only. What we get? 1 by 3, 2 by 3, and 2 by 3. And next, you have to take v2. v2 is x2 divided by norm of x2 means 2 by root 3, 1 by root 3, minus 2 by root 3. What is v3? v3 is nothing but x3 divided by norm of x3 is 2 by root 3. Uh, my uh, minus 2 by root 3 and 1 by root 3, okay. Now, these are the nothing but V1, V2, V3. From that, we get capital V. What is capital V? Is nothing but V1, V2, V3. Means, this value has to substitute that is V. Now, I am going to write it in the next step because I cannot continue there, okay. Yeah. What is that actually? You know that 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 2 by 3, okay. Uh, 2 by root 3, root 2, uh, 2 by uh, v2, v3 is not root 3 actually, 3 only, sorry, 3. Because, just a minute, yeah. Because in all cases, what we get 3, therefore what we get actually from uh, v1, v2, v3, uh, this is actually, uh, uh, two, uh, 1 by uh, 3, uh, uh, 2 by 3, this is nothing but 2 by 3, 1 by 3 and minus 2 by 3, only 3, not for root, 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 3, sorry, this is all the cases is 3 divided by 3. Now, we get uh, 2 by 3, okay, 1 by 3, minus 2 by 3, what is a V3, 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3, 1 by 3, okay. Next, I want to find out I, uh, singular values. Sigma 1 is nothing but square root of lambda 1. What is that square root of 360 is nothing but 6 into root 10. And also sigma 2, square root of lambda 2 is square root of 93 10, root 10, okay. And also lambda sigma 3 is nothing but square root of 0. What is square root of 0 is nothing but lambda 3. Lambda 3 is nothing but 0, therefore we get 0 only. In the next step, you frame in delta D diagonal matrix whose diagonals are non-zero singular values. What are the singular values you are taking in the decreasing order? Uh, what is that? 6 root 10. What is another value? 3 root 10. Therefore, we make it 2 cross 2 diagonal matrix. We cannot consider 0. You have make a diagonal matrix whose diagonal entries are non-zero singular values, okay. Next, delta. Delta what I told, first you fix that diagonal matrix in the upper corner of the delta, 6 into root 10, 0, 0, 3 into root 10, okay. But you make delta, order must be same as order of matrix, given matrix A is 2 cross 3. Therefore, suppose you do not have that element, you make a convert into 2 cross 3 with the help of zeros. This is my delta. And next, I have to find out uh, what actually uh, u1, u2, u3. First, you find out av1. What is av1? A is what actually? 4, 8, 11, 7, 14, minus 2 into v1. What is my v1? 1 by 3, 2 by 3 and 2 by 3. Multiply it. Once you multiply this, what we get actually? We get, yeah, we get uh, AV1. What is AV1? Multiply row into column, yeah. Now, we get uh, uh, what about the AV1? Now, we will try to understand that how we get rho v1, 4 by 3 plus 22 by 3 plus uh, 28 by 3. Simplify that, we get 18. I am writing the final value. Take second row, 8 by 3, 14 by 3, minus 4 by 3. Simplify that, we get 6. This is av1. 
Similarly, find out AV2. AV2 is nothing but you substitute A and take V2. V2 is nothing but second column. 2 by 3, yeah, uh, 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3. From that we get AV2. Multiply by AV2, we get a column vector. Uh, AV2 is nothing but minus 3, 9. Now, here we are not finding AV3. Why? Because once you find out AV3, I do not want AV3 because how many rows you have? 2 rows. Number, U1, U2 are unit vector. Number of unit vectors must be equal to number of rows of the given matrix. How many rows you have? 2 rows. Therefore, how many unit vectors are required? 2 unit vectors. Therefore, I am not finding AV3. I am neglecting. Therefore, I am finding U1. What is U1? AV1 divided by sigma1. Okay. AV1 is already written. Sigma1 you know that 6 by uh, root 10. Okay. Uh, 1 by 6 root 10 into what actually 18 and uh, 6. After the simplification, what we get uh, uh, u1? u1 is nothing but once you take inside the bracket for this, now we get 3 by root 10 and 1 by root 10. Okay? 3 by 6 cancel with this, therefore 3 by root 10 and 1 by root 10. What is u2? u2 is nothing but av2 divided by sigma2 is nothing but what? Uh, 1 by what is a? Uh, 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 sigma 2. Sigma 2 is equal to 3 root 10. 3 root 10 of uh, AV2. What is AV2? Minus 3 and 9. Simplify that. We get minus 1 by root 10 and uh, 3 by root 10. 3 by uh, 3 ones are 3 nines. Are 3 is 2 are the value. That is why I am not finding AV3. Suppose you find out AV3 divided by sigma 3. It is not work it out because sigma 3 is 0. If we get infinity, but I required only two unit vectors, therefore we get uh, is satisfied. I am going to stop that. Now, based on that, we are going to write uh, what actually uh, u. What is u from that? U is nothing but u1, u2. Means what is u1? 3 by root 10, 1 by root 10, minus 1 by root 10, and 3 by root 10. This is my u. Now, you multiply u delta and uh, v transpose that we get our given matrix. Okay? That is a uh, verification for that part. Okay? Uh, u delta v transpose we are going to do for that. Time being I will keep u as except delta is 6 root 10. 0, 0, 0, 3 root 10, 0, 0. Yeah, only this much because number of rows must be, number of uh, rows must be, order of this u must be same as num order of a is satisfied into v transpose. V transpose means you convert row into column. What we get actually? Uh, 1 by 3, 2 by 3, I am taking row into column and then uh, 2 by 3, 1 by 3, minus 2 by uh, 3, okay, fine. And also we make it uh, this last row 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 3. Yeah, we transpose. Multiply that. While doing multiplication, you substitute u. u. You know that what is u? What is a u? 3 by root 10, 1 by root 10, minus 1 by root 10 and 3 by root 10. Okay, fine. You multiplied these two. Once you multiplied by these two, row into column, 6 root 10 by 3, these two are 0, 6 cancel with uh, 3, what we get? 2 root 10. Okay, fine. Okay. Next, move to this column. Again, we, uh, we get uh, 2 row, uh, what about uh, 2 into 6, root 10 by 3 is cancelled, we get 4 root 10. Yeah, I will write it a little bit low for that, otherwise this mix up. Uh, what is u? u is 3 by root 10, 1 by root 10 and minus 1 by root 10, 3 by root 10. Okay, fine. Into 
6 cancel with 3, we get to 2 root 10. Again 6 cancel with 3, we get to 2 into 2, 4 root 10. And then move to this, we get 4 root 10, same value. Yeah, move to the second row, 0, 3, 3 cancel, 2 root 10, only 2 root 10 we get here, yeah. And then, yeah, 0, now 3, 3 cancel, root 10, and then we get root 10 here, okay. And then move to the last one, 0, then 3 cancel, minus 2 root 10, minus 2 root 10, yeah. Yeah, multiply row into column, 0, uh, what about the 3, 3 uh, cancel, minus 2 root 10, but 0, we get minus 2 root 10. Again, multiply row into column. What we are expecting? Expecting our uh, matrix, okay? Now here, observe carefully, root 10, root 10 is cancelled, 3, 2 is a 6. 6, again root 10, root 10 cancel, minus 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. Yeah, first value is 4. And next, move to the second column. Uh, root 10, root 10 is cancelled, 4, 4, 3 is a 12. Minus root 10, root 10 is cancelled because here root 10 denominator, here root 10 is numerator. We get minus 1 is 11, is the second value. And next move to the last column for the first row. Uh, root 10, uh, root 10 is cancelled. What is a 4, 3 is a 12. Okay. And minus into minus plus, root 10, root 10 is cancelled, plus 2, we get 14. This is a third value. Okay, fine. Move to second row. 1 by root 10 is cancelled with the root 10. What we get? 2. 3 by root 10, 2 into root 10 is root 10, root 10 is cancelled, 3 to the 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. Next, move to the second column. Uh, 4 we get because root 10, root 10 cancelled, root 10, root 10 cancelled, we get 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. And then move to this, root 10, root 10 cancelled, 4 minus 6. 4 minus 6 is minus 2. Now, now we get all the values of A, all the values of A. Now, this is a way I have to do the decomposition method. Before going to wind up this uh, uh, thing, I am going to repeat uh, once again for these steps. What is the steps you are followed to convert singular value decomposition? What are the steps I did? I think everyone is clear. We get this uh, finally given matrix. Now, before I am going to wind up that, again I have to repeat the steps. What are the steps I used to convert uh, which form? Uh, the singular value decay product of three matrices is nothing but u a is equal to u delta v transpose. What we are going to do? First you find a first step you find out a transpose into a value. Second step you find out determinant of a transpose into a minus i lambda equal to 0 means you find out the eigenvalues. Once we get the eigenvalues for this. Now, you know uh, I is identity matrix depends upon order of A transpose into A. You find out the eigenvalues. Keep the eigenvalues in the de uh, decreasing order. Based on the decreasing order, you find out the corresponding eigenvectors x1, x2, x3. After that, you verify these eigenvectors are orthogonal or not. Is not orthogonal, you have to convert orthogonal using Grab schematic process. That is a point. Is orthogonal, okay. Uh, suppose it is orthogonal, you have to normalize. V is nothing but x1 divided by norm of x1 and like that V2 is divided by uh, x2 divided by norm of x, x2, etc. Keep in mind, before normalize, these vectors are orthogonal. Suppose it is not orthogonal, use Gram's committed process. You must be convert into these vectors are orthogonal set of non-zero vectors. And then you normalize. Once you normalize, these are the V, V1, V2, V3. Then we get capital V. Each V is write it in the column where in capital V. After that, you find the singular values. Singular values is nothing but square root of lambda 1, sigma 2 is square root of lambda 2 like that. You find out in the decreasing order. And then you make D, diagonal matrix. You fix the diagonal values using non-singular values. That is our diagonal matrix. And then you frame de delta based on diagonal matrix. You fix this upper corner of delta is uh, diagonal matrix. Apart from that, 
you convert delta order of uh, order of the matrix of delta must be same as order of the given matrix. Suppose that much row, that much column is not available right now, you convert it with the help of zeros. Afterwards, after that, you find out uh, AV1, AV2 like that. You know, you have V1, you have A1. Based on that, you find out unit vector. Number of unit vector must be equal to number of rows of the given matrix. For example, you are, you are uh, in this problem two rows, how many unit vectors are need? Two unit vectors, the formula is AV1 divided by sigma1, AV1, V2 divided by sigma2 like that. After we get this, what we are going to do? We are going to do here in the next step, you frame capital U. Capital U is nothing but each column of capital U is nothing but unit vector columns U1, U2, U3, etc. Now, after that, you verify capital U into delta into V transpose that must be give rise what capital A. Then only we say that confidently we convert A into decompose into three vectors, three matrices U, delta, V transpose. What we decomposition method is called singular value decomposition. Why? Because we are using singular values, because we are dividing A V1 by sigma 1, A V2 by sigma 2. That decomposition method is called uh, what actually singular value. This is very much useful when instead of uh, suppose whenever having a big matrices, you convert into split it into small matrices, then easy to write a program, execution time also less and also memory power also less here in the coding system. That is why in most of uh, engineering problem, especially for computer science electronics, they are using singular value decomposition. In data size also they are using in machine learning also they are using, yeah. Um, uh, thank you very much for listening this uh, talk. I am going to take few more problems in the next class.